Uh, we're at Jerry's Deli. Where is it? Our first remote in Studio City. That's right. Uh, Very a place delicious we've food met here. That's many right. a, a friend. That's right. Now, Basil, usually you and I meet at another deli. I'm not going to name it because that wouldn't be polite. Cantor's Deli in the Fairfax District. I oh. wouldn't name it. Well, no, don't don't name it. I won't name it. Deli has its own uh, speciality. It has its own feeling and flavor, and we'll get to the flavor soon. But first, Basil, for you to get your lunch, you have to do an interview with us first. Is that okay? Oh yeah. Okay. Now you might be listening and thinking, who is Basil Hoffman? Well, first look at the face. Look at the face that they can't really see what I'm seeing. They Google Basil Hoffman, they will see. I have a story about that. You have a story about your face? Yes, I do. Let's hear it, Basil. First movie I ever did was a picture called Lady Liberty. Lady Liberty. Late with a fabulous, beautiful Academy Award winning actress named Sophia Loren. Oh, she's beautiful. Sophia. She's beautiful she's today. A, Can you Sophia. imagine how beautiful she's she was when I worked with her in 1970? She Gorgeous. Was. Unbelievable. Mamma oh mia. The director was Mario Monicelli. Picture was Lady Liberty. And Monicelli, for some reason, and I never found out why, wouldn't speak to the actors in English on the set. I couldn't. I thought he couldn't speak English. So How do you understand he, he what the gave director's every, telling you? We had uh, an assistant director named Carlo Von Zina. And Carlo, parenthetically speaking, has since become one of the most prolific writer-directors in Italy. But, but Carlo was his little assistant director, and he Mario, translated. Ma, he translated. Oh, uh, Carlo translated for Mario. Right. So Absolutely. Trans- yes. Just like I translate for my brother it's sometimes. perfect. Right, keep going. And it's it worked ahead. out just like it's working here. It, it is. worked out John, very well. a little well. applause right now, a little applause. No, no applause. Yes. Be applause. There was Go a ahead. point at which we were setting up for, for a close-up I was doing with Sophia. Yes. And... Uh, Monicelli is talking to Carlo and gesturing, as Italians do, going on and on and on and on. Oh, yeah. And finally, <laughs> Carlo comes to me and said, Carlo, what, what, does, uh, what does Mario want? He says, Mr. Monicelli wants you to stand closer to the desk. Stand, stand closer to the desk. And that was it. That was it. That's the direction. Then two hours later, I'm sitting there, minding my own business. After right. we shot that scene, we're right. working on something else. I'm just sitting there. And I see Monicelli looking at me again and gesturing about me. To, uh, Carlo. to Carlo. He's talking about you. To, uh, talking about me and going on and on about it. And finally, we take a little break after that extended conversation between these two. And Monticelli goes his way and Carlo starts to walk off in the other direction. What's and I run after about? Carlo and I say, Carlo, what, what's going on? What, what, is something Mario I need to know? When, when we come back to me, is there something I need to know? And he gets, he gets right up to my nose and he says, Mr. Monticelli likes your face. <laughs> He oh, likes your face. Basil, we love your face, too. We like Basil. it at a face. You know, it's funny, because uh, we did a, a movie with Basil. We did a, a short, short film, film and we Old were Dogs. so honored to have you in it. That's it's right. called Old Dogs. With the and great you, Larry Gelman and John Saxon. And right, Phil we'll Lamar all have them on, Phil Lamar. And you right. can pause the podcast right now. Go watch Old Dogs, the short film, it's on hilarious. YouTube. It's and hilarious. then come back to the podcast, it's, if it, you want it, it, it. It's fabulous. It but, is uh, very, very funny, except for me. You know who's fabulous in the movie? Basil Hoffman. Basil. No, but what's funny is... Um, oh, about his face. Right. The first day of shooting, we had a great uh, director of photography. His name is Neil Lisk. Neil Lisk. unfortunately Lisk, he, passed away. At rest his, in peace. He was a wonderful... He made Old Dogs, the short film, look the way... Yeah, it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. He was so very great. gifted. Tell that story um, about Neil and uh, Basil. Director of photography. But the first day, we had a bu- bunch of exterior shots scheduled, but we ended up getting a lot of rain. So we had to uh, kind of improvise. So at one point, we took a break. And uh, he comes over to me and he goes, okay, John. He was British. He goes, okay, John. Uh, first thing, more basil. <laughs> he goes, let me just do more basil. And you'll because he looked, the, he looked in the monitor and he saw basil's face. Right. Well, you know, basil. And, and, and that's what happens sometimes when you're making a film. The best stuff is the accidents. Yeah. And we had all this rain. We couldn't shoot anything. And then there was a scene where I just wanted Basil to stand in the, the parking lot and kind of look like he doesn't know what he's doing. Do you remember that, Basil? But it was not in the I didn't know what script. I was doing. Well, that, it was no, not... no, that's why I looked like I didn't know what that's I was right. doing. But I'm just saying You that... guys left me. You guys left me. We had to leave you. The camera was we rolling, though, the while ca- you the were The camera was rolling. And you it's guys one were of the most Everybody memorable gone, shots in the film. So many people have said, that's my favorite shot in the film. And it wouldn't have happened if it hadn't have rained that night. So. All jokes aside, this is one of America's greatest character actors who's been working as an actor over 50 years. Over 50. Right. And Basil... Since kindergarten, he's been working throw out a couple of credits all the president's men uh, my favorite year which is how we know you right my favorite year you need to google that right now ladies and gentlemen so you're gonna learn a lot from the Fawn brothers here what you're gonna Wait a, a you night. need to if you haven't seen the film my favorite year one of the greatest comedies ever Basil has one line in the movie <laughs> but there's a reason why he has one line because he's taken a vow of silence he refuses more to or talk. less 
My favorite year is about, uh, really, your show of shows, a variety show in the 50s, and a bunch of writers are writing the show. The guest is Peter O'Toole, playing kind of an Errol Flynn. Right. And he's drunk all the time, and the yes. writers have to come up with... Uh, scenes for the star Peter O'Toole for the week, and Basil says nothing in the film. He and won't... you know the story about my character, right? Well, you're based on Neil Simon. Yeah, yeah Be- right. and I had. Uh, Who's the lovely actress with you in that? Wait, you're wait. always whispering in her. Anne DeSalvo. What's her name? Anne DeSalvo. Yeah, she's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I who had met. Is, who else? Is I had met. I had met Sid Caesar uh, shortly after we did that picture, and uh, was at a, uh, a big event with him, right. sitting at, at Caesar's table, and he looks at me. He says, he says. You're my favorite year. I said, yeah. he, said, he said, you played Doc. Doc, uh, Neil Simon's uh, nickname yeah, yeah. is Doc. So I, I said, is that true to life? He, he says, oh, oh yeah. He says, uh, he said, we, we couldn't get Carl to say, uh, uh, no, but we, we could uh, get Neil to say anything. I'd have to say, Carl, what does Doc think? <laughs> and he would whisper the information. Yeah, exactly. And Mark Lynn Baker plays the Mel Brooks character, and Joe Bologna plays the Sid Caesar. Right. Everyone, you have to see my favorite. Deborah the lad's bed for me, you yeah. tell. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal. It's and also, Bill Macy is in the Bill movie. Bill Macy did it! Bill Macy! Bill Macy is going to be a guest later on this show. The hell I am! You better pay me my rate! Academy Award nomination, by the way, for Peter O'Toole. Oh, in right, that movie. Yes. In that movie. Speaking playing of that, the role he was born to play. Speaking yeah. of that, how many films have you been in that were either nominated or won Best Picture? And can you name them? Can two, you name them? Two Best Pictures, Ordinary People and The Artist. Mm. Well, uh, is. Ordinary, at least. ordinary People, you're, you're jogging with Donald That's Sutherland. Right. That's yes. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I, I love that. That's well, a wonder, Robert Redford directed that. Yep. Yep. And, well, and I, what's the other Best Picture that you're in? Uh, the, the other artist. best picture is The Artist. The Artist. You, you're the auctioneer. Yes. I, I love that movie. I know some people did not care yeah. for it. I, it's such a love letter to silent films yeah. and to movie making. That, it's a that's movie. a whole French I have group. a story, by the way, about me getting the part in Ordinary oh, People. Oh, my, well, my agent this calls is a Robert Redford story? It's a Redford story. Ahead, my, my agent calls me. You know, the pastrami says, sandwich Basil, is going to have to says, wait, Basil. We got a, call, uh, got a call from Paramount. Robert Redford wants to know if you'll do him a favor. Redford wants to know if you, Basil So what Hoffman, is that like? You, He's moving and you're going to help him move stuff? Like well, what kind well, of favor are we Do you have to kill about? somebody? What well, I didn't know what it was, but, 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 but that's what it was. And, and nobody knows. You know, you do a picture. You don't know it's going to be the best picture. You have no idea. Right, right. Anything. But but I had done two pictures with Redford. Uh, what were they? Uh, All the President's Men. <laughs> in which in which, in which I, I had a relationship with Redford and didn't know that. Because we were... Uh, had finished shooting a scene that I was in, tiny right. little scene. You're one of the uh, one newspaper of the, one of the editors with yeah. Martin Balsam, Jack Warden, and Mason, Jason Lee. Robards, who would win an Oscar, who would win an Oscar Ben for Bradley, the, yeah. this, and Redford and and, yep. and Hoffman, and yep. you know, so and all the presidents Hoffman and Hoffman. men, Hoffman. Hoffman and Hoffman, but, Basil uh, Hoffman, Dustin Hoffman, but, but they're going I, on the road. I had a I had a scene that uh, that I actually wrote. Uh, Alan Pakula asked uh. a couple of actors who were in a uh, budget meeting scene. If they would had something to contribute to the scene because he wanted the scene filled out, the the scripted dialogue. All the editors was, talking yeah, yeah, about right, stuff, right, right, right. The paper, and pitch the, pitching yeah. ideas. Yeah, and we had we had all around the uh, on the stage, uh, off the set, but on the stage, uh, pages from the Washington Post. Right, and always from the day after the actual day in history that we were shooting. So we right. always knew what we were supposed to be talking about that day. Oh, you mean so, you're shooting the film a couple of years after the events happened, the actual and the events. newspapers in the scenes were actually for the day you were shooting. We so had those. So time accurate. We, you were, we, we you always were historically knew, accurate. We always yes. knew exactly what we were supposed to be talking That's about amazing. that day. That's yeah. detailed. That, that, right. that, that, yes. that day in history. All the so, so I found a little story, a little piece of a story that would have been something that my character from where I was sitting on the set would have brought up. So I came up with this, Pakula liked it, we shot it, and about a week or so later Redford comes by my desk on the set and he says, Basil, did you get my note? I said, no, Bob, I didn't. <laughs> and I had this I must have had a horrible expression and Alan Pakula comes by the desk in a couple of minutes and I'm there and I'm I, I, I must have looked frightened. I don't know what yeah. it was. Yeah. And, I, and, he, and he says, Basil, what's wrong? I said, Alan, uh, Bob, uh, Bob j- j- just came by, by the desk. And, uh, and, and and he asked me if I got his note. And I, I looked for the note. I went to my dressing room and I had to find a note. And Alan says to me, he says, well, you're not fired. 
<laughs> and, That's good to know from Alan. And, and, and I had a personal note in the mail that day. I got home, found a note from Redford, thanking me for my work in the film, uh, handwritten note. And because of that, uh, he asked me to do a couple of voices in the film because oh, it was a scene he, he there was are playing scenes as Redford. when Redford, who plays Bob Woodward, right. is making calls to track down to you right. know, the information whole, and the right. whole Watergate And you scandal. are doing VO. You, yeah. you play one of the callers. I, I play Kenneth Dahlberg. And, and let me ask you. Is it done live? Or are you? Uh, yes, it, it's it's done live. And so you're uh, off camera. Red, Redford had shot the scene and didn't like it, huh. and then he told Alan Pakula, he says, "I want Basil. Would Basil do the voice for me?" He so said he on, the on phone, his own, even though you're already present. cast as one of the editors, yeah. he's like, "I like your voice." So he you're, you're he Kenneth Dahlberg, right? Yeah, yeah. And now uh, my brother Michael is listening to this, and he's seen all the President's Men 117 times. Then he'll can come. you just say a little Kenneth? Can you just say hello, Mike? This is Kenneth Dahlberg, or something? Can you just give him something? Can we hear what he sounded like? I'm sorry, I hung up on you. I, uh, <laughs> my neighbor's wife has been kidnapped. <laughs> That's exactly from the movie. If you know all the president's men, you know what's talking about. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny because when I used to have a little applause right now after that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Some people, Dad said he didn't like that. The applause didn't sound genuine. Dad so, is not here in the booth okay, with fun. Basil Hoffman. I legend. loved the applause. So, uh, it was fantastic. I did. I did another picture with yes. Alan Pakula. Go ahead. Uh, called uh, "Comes a Horseman." And oh, and I was at the James, James Conn is in there. And Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda, James Conn. And Jason Robards again. Uh, Ro After you tell the story, can you just tell us what it's like to work with Robards? Oh, he... I will. Oh, dream. It's a dream. Wow. Yeah. So oh we were at the rap party for uh, for Comes a Horseman. So you're rapping? We're at rapping it. I'm Basil Hoffman. And, and, and Alan Pakula, who had directed all the President's Men, oh. says to me, he says, Basil, I've been watching you all week. Yes. I said, what do you mean, Alan? He said, all the President's Men is running on HBO. Oh, I, know. Uh, I said, oh, and then he says to me, you know, you're very good on television. <laughs> well, it's, it's funny you mention that because when we were, you know, kids, we were part of this TV generation, and that was the first time I saw the President's Men was on, like, Cinema 100 yeah, when we first got Yeah, they had a Long cable. Island cable channel, yeah, yeah. We, and they would show this, they'd only show, like, five movies, and they'd show them all month. And that's right. one of those films, like, I had no idea what was really going on, yeah, but I just yeah. loved Riveting. watching it, because there were so many great well, actors in the, it, the key and to Kenneth Dahlberg's voice, I mean, just, that's what Kenneth really, Dahlberg's that's voice what hooked me on that movie. the key to the whole movie, that, get another the key little to the snippet movie of, right yeah. there. How about Ken Dahlberg ordering yeah, at ordered, Jerry's What would Del Kenneth Dahlberg order at Jerry's? Like, say, it's over the phone, I guess. Uh, it would probably be something on white bread. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Jason Robot, J James Kahn. Uh, what was he like to work with in Comes a Horseman? Uh, very underrated actor, in my opinion. Yeah, I, oh, yeah. I th I th pers personally, I thought he was a little distant. Uh, n n n not, not warm you know, and engaging, but, but that doesn't mean he's a fabulous... I, th I think James Caan uh, was somehow robbed out of at least an Academy Award nomination for you know, a picture he, called Misery. He's wonderful he's a, in Misery, he's a terrific yeah, guy. and he's That's wonderful in a film called Gardens of Stone, oh, yeah, which Garth's is a Coppola film movie. that Coppola made after Coppola's son had died. Right. And it Ooh. deals with, uh, uh, I think, James Caan's character dealing with the death of his son. That's not uh, and uh, James Caan's very good in that movie. Very. Good. He's a CEO, uh, and he's... Um, right. His Some command is at Arlington National Cemetery. Well, that's so all right. they Guards do is bury, right, right, right. they just bury kids, right. and he wants not, to not go not out there and help. Great, great, great. Yeah. And stuff. Wait a minute, Terrific now, Jane Fonda? You've worked with Jane Fonda a couple of times? How I, is she? I worked with Jane Fonda is twice. she a hoot? I worked with, the movie I did after uh, Comes a Horseman was uh, The Electric Horseman. Now that's a great movie. You were with John Saxon Elec in that film. Electric Horseman is Redford, Jane Fonda, <clears> you <throat> and John Saxon, who... You, John Saxon, and Larry Gelman would be our three guys that we would cast yeah. in our short film, Old Dogs, based on our feature film. That's you right. know, you know where when I when I had heard when I had heard that uh, Redford was doing the time. Well, we're we're, we're almost at we're at thirty seconds. For when, the fifteen oh, minutes we have. Vassal, would you? Well, be, well I'll, I'll, you tell you like, I'll tell you very quick how I got the electric go horse. Go, go, no, go for it. A, a, a lot of guys I knew were reading for the film. I couldn't get a reading. My agent says, finally, he says, you got a call from Jennifer, Th uh, Jennifer Shaw at, at uh, Columbia uh, to pick up a script for the electric course. And I say, so you finally got me a reading. He says, no, they want to make an offer. And then later on, then later on, my agent says to me, you know how I got, you got this picture, don't you? I said, I guess you did your job. He said, no, Redford asked for you. Uh, we're going to go out on... Basil, will you do another show with us right now? Can we do sure. another episode with Sir Absolutely. Fon? All right, so I'm uh, Jonathan Fon. And I am Tom Fon. Our guest is... Basil Hoffman, number two.
magic moments, magic with, moments the with the Fawn Brothers. Brothers. And we're going to come back for another part two with Basil Hoffman. Yes. More pickles.